all the reports are kind of pointing to, you know, Bobby Marks was on, was on summer league. They were interviewing him at halftime and he said, everything sounds like it may be like a KD situation from last year, you know, where this may play out all the way well into the regular season and through training, you know, through training camp. So, um, I'm expecting this to be a long process because be real, bro. He, he is under contract for four more years. Portland don't have to trade him. Yeah, yeah like, he's there under no pressure. Yeah, man, it's. I feel like you just should just trade him. But I, I think that this whole I'm only going to Miami thing. I think mm-hmm. that's a little much. Like I think if Boston put if Boston says yo, we'll give you Jalen Brown. You're playing for Boston, bro. I'm sorry. Like. You're going to Boston. If the Sixers go, we're giving you Tyrese Maxey. You're going to the Sixers, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not hearing this whole, I'm only trading you to Boston. Like, I understand, uh, like, I can respect your wishes and send you to a contender. But, bro, if the if the Heat package sucks and say Boston's like, all right, fine, we'll give you Jalen Brown. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. You better go buy a coat because it get cold in Boston. But <laughs> that's where you're going to go play. Let me let me ask you this because I've seen people say this and I have mixed opinions. Do you think if the Trailblazers don't trade Dame to Miami, and they trade him to somebody like Boston or Utah or San, any number of teams, right? Is anybody but Miami? Just they take the best offer they can get. Do you think that really affects their how they're viewed across the league, like? Will star players not want to go to Portland because they they feel like they're not taken care of? They, I mean, they're not already really a free agency destination because it's not a big time market like a LA, a New York, or Miami, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, like, do you think that's something that they should really be considering, or should they just really go and get the best offer? I think they should consider it just because Dame is the arguably the best player in your organization's history. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it, I I think they should consider it, but they shouldn't. How can I how can I explain this? They could they should consider it as far as sending him to a contender. Like I think that if they send him to like Utah or even the Spurs, they're still rebuilding. You know what I mean? If they send him like mm-hmm. Utah or something like that, then I think around the league they'll be looked at as like, all right, like they they did damn dirty. You know what I mean? Like he gave you his all. He was loyal for all these years. And you're going to ship him off to Utah? Like, you know he doesn't want to go to Utah. Like, I feel like that, then that would give them a bad look. But I think that they won't be looked at as bad if they sent him to, like, the Sixers or Boston because they're still a a contending team. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? So, like, as long as they sent him to a contender, I don't think that, team, like, players around the league would look at the the trailers like, all right, they mishandled that damn situation. My only thing is, like, I get it, and I'm, I know that that's a thing that players consider, and like, there's I'm sure some good type of rapport with you know GMs and stuff that you can build. Like, it's, we're all humans. Like, you know, you build relationships that way. But does it really going to change Portland's perception or like how they're viewed in terms of free agent destinations if they trade him to Miami or if they trade him to anywhere else for the best package? Like, is the next superstar going to be like? You know, I won't go to Portland. Like they're gonna take care of me there. Like, I mean, yeah, I they, see it's what just you not mean. a destination like that. And we've seen other teams take care of star players. We I've seen small market teams like Oklahoma City got Paul George to the Clippers, which is where he wanted to go in the first place. Like they mm-hmm. took care of Chris Paul. They took care of Kemba. They've done buyouts. Like they take care of their stars. Who's the last big name free agent Oklahoma City signed? Yeah. I like it's just mean. not a it's not a destination like that, you know. So you said, yeah, it's like it's already viewed as a place that like they don't want to go there anyway. So like, how bad would it hurt their reputation? Basically, what right? I don't think I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. Like I said, I feel like it would be worse if you like if you're hurting your relationships with other GMs. But it's like, but at the end of the day, you need to do what's best for you as an organization. Um, if Damian Lillard didn't want to be there and he wanted to pick what team he went to, he wouldn't sign the extension. Like, mm-hmm. that's kind of how it works. Like, again, I'm all for player empowerment, player movement, whatever. Um, and look, at the time he wanted to stay in Portland, you, even if you didn't, bro, you take the bread. <laughs> like, I get mm-hmm. that 100%. But now at this point in time where he's like really trying to force his hand in Miami, like, you don't really have 
that kind of leverage, like you also don't have a no trade clause, which is something I heard Brian Windhorst talking about, which is like low key when you think about it, Portland has been in like a quiet rebuild for a couple of years now. Like the fact that he mm-hmm. doesn't have a no trade clause in his contract is like a well, now that we've gotten to this point, it's like, well, he has a destination. He can't just force his way there. We can still mm-hmm. trade him wherever we want, wherever he, you know, we want to. Or we don't have to trade him. I think that'd be stupid. But I'm just saying that now Portland has a lot more leverage. And if I'm them, like, yeah, you want to do your best to, you know, fulfill Dame's wishes. But, like, if what you're getting from Miami is this, but then what you're getting from Boston or anybody else is, like, up here, I think you take the better deal um, from an organizational standpoint. But – I will I will say this. I think that so they could already be viewed as this place that like you don't really don't want to go there based off of honestly based off of the way they haven't built a contending team around Damian Lillard his whole mm-hmm. time there. So that alone with being a small market, um, they could already be viewed as this organization that people that teams don't or players don't really want to go to. But I can say if you do right by Dame, it could work to repair that uh that reputation that you have basically. So so it's like. I understand what you're saying. Like it's already they're already viewed as a organization you don't really want to go to. But I think that it can help. I won't. It won't make it seem like it won't make it to the point where like players would just go there. And you know what I mean? Like instantly in free agency. But it can work to like build up that reputation rather than be in this place that like I right, know we're definitely not going to, to to Portland. Yeah, I just it's, I've seen people kind of go back and forth about it on Twitter. If it's like worthwhile for them to really fulfill his request and i think i just don't think it is as beneficial as people are making it seem because i don't think it's going to automatically make them this free agency destination that people are going to want to go to Mm. because they treat their stars well like at the end of the day it's a small market like it's always gonna be tough to kind of win free agents as a part of that if you don't already have people there to play around you know Mm. um so yeah that's that's a Interesting. Look, they have all the leverage in the situation, so I, I still would not bank on him necessarily going to Miami um, and, and forcing his way there. Do you believe that his agent is really calling these other teams and saying, don't trade for Dame, we're not going to play for you if you trade for him? That doesn't sound like Damian Lillard, bro. Like, right. it just didn't, like after all these years, all the stuff that you've been saying, like just the character that you're portraying to like the media and everyone, like and then – to just flip a switch and all of a sudden be like a diva, almost like, I'm not going to play for you. Like, don't even trade for me. I'm not going to play for you. I don't want to go to this team. I don't want to go to that team. Like, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't sound like Damian right. Lillard. Like, even the stuff that was like, oh, yeah, he would he would have wanted to go to the Warriors before they got Chris Paul. I'm like. That don't sound like something Dame would do. Nah, like, you would and literally. I don't fault him if that was the case. It's like you said, it just, that doesn't fit his MO. Right. It's like. Well, now you're this whole other person. What happened to I'm not joining a, a super team and I'm not r- running to go with other stars? Like, what happened to all that? Now all that's just out the window. Like, it, it just doesn't sound like him. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't buy it as much as it's got hyped up too. I think it's smoke and people doing extra stuff. But mm-hmm. yeah, look, like I said, you know, this is probably gonna run well through training camp into the season. So um, we'll see. But like we talked about earlier, they're in good hands with Scoot. So. Yeah, they should just do whatever is best for for their organization. <laughs>